We continue our working day. The topic of our current press conference is modernization of business education for Ukrainian youth. We have Vitaly Pazdri, coordinator of the third all Ukrainian business contest film strategy 2016. Also, um, Natalia Puzic, uh, head of the um, uh, department from the Ministry of Education and Oksana Melnik, senior le lecturer at the Business Strategy for Enterprises uh, Department, and Jana Brick, head of the NGO. Dear colleagues, we are happy that we are able to present uh, intermediary results of our contest firm strategy 26 and uh, to discuss uh, uh, the um, yeah, dis discuss our work uh, uh, on raising uh, youth awareness about uh, running business. I believe that these uh, skills are very useful for formation of uh, proper business culture in Ukraine, uh, and uh, it is uh, very important for the economy development. Currently, uh, modern businessmen should be able to uh, run business in line with the modern requirements and uh, skills and competences which are necessary to um, young businessmen um, require this personality to be creative to uh, be proactive uh, um, yeah, and uh, to be able to undertake initiatives. So our competition, our contest is joint initiative of the um, National Economic University of the Ministry of uh, uh, Finance and it is supported by some think tanks and uh, uh, some producers like Coca Cola Company, uh, Poruch NGO, etc. One of the reasons why we decided to organize this uh, contest. Uh, uh, is uh, that uh, in uh, secondary school not so much attention is devoted to business development. We have uh, classes in economics in the last grade of the school, but uh, in general uh, that's not too much. The second objective was uh, to uh, maintain ties between high school, business, and the public at large. Uh, Getting ready to our uh, contest, we organize trainings for teachers uh, all over Ukraine, from Ushgorod to Donetsk, from Chernigov, Zaporizhia, Partava, Chernobyl, in general, more than 11 cities. Uh, and uh, these were 610 teachers who participated in that trainings for teachers. Uh, Mm, uh, we uh, presented the issues of business development, running, uh, how to run a business. Uh, the result of those uh, trainings and public awareness campaign about our contest, uh, about our tournament, uh, uh, was uh, that there were more than 2,000 participants in this context, including children from Donetsk, Luhansk, Oblast, even from uh, Crimea. The entire geography of Ukraine was represented. Last Friday, children um, participated in the last stage of the tournament and were selected. Uh, First, we select, out of that 1,000, we selected 365 uh, 
uh, participants uh, who will then be um, uh, valued and uh, the uh, list of the best 20 will be compiled. This tournament is not just a competition. It is also, it has some training in nature. It is able to reveal tail talents, uh, uh, business running abilities in a student. It uh, teaches uh, children how to communicate with the other and uh, in result of competition, we found out that we have very talented youth and good prospects for um, future projects, uh, business um, at school, etc. And with this, I would like to give the floor to Natalia, who will represent the educational authorities. Thank you for inviting. I would like to say that the Ministry of Education of Ukraine and the Institute on Modernization of Education support this project. And um, this work is uh, conducted beyond the classes. The system of work uh, related to forming and that there was no work conducted to develop the entrepreneurial skills. Uh, the subject uh, economics was introduced, and there was a course, uh, Basics of Entrepreneurial Knowledge. Now, uh, the subject economics is um, delivered only at the 10th form and um, economic education here at the state level is uh, supported uh, by that subject as to financial education. There is a course which is called financial literacy. And that was an experiment which started in uh, uh, 2012. And we have um, introduced many different innovations already, but we would like to mention that this is not the mandatory subject, but it's an optional course. Now there are about 1,000 schools that participate in the project. Initially, it was designed only for the 10th grade. Now the pu pupils can start uh, uh, taking it much earlier. We have the basis for financial education as to forming entrepreneurial skills. Uh, we would like to mention that just this year we have uh, uh, this uh, Department of Digital Education that started working. The experience of our work is quite limited, but there were Ukrainian-Polish projects that were initiated by Polish uh, side. These were entrepreneurial clubs of entrepreneurship for school children. The work was going on, but the systemic work related to the fact that the financial literacy course would be introduced in all the schools, that wasn't done. So we are planning to work hard on that as to the initiatives uh, which are on local, regional level. 
like in Chernivtsi, Uh, they introduced some projects uh, directed towards development of entrepreneurship that is supported by the ministry. Now, Oksana Melnik, PhD from Kiev National Economic University. The top priority directions for the education development in line with our doctrine of the educational development is uh, to uh, train such creative um, human resources who are able to look for unconventional ways of development. And uh, uh, in my opinion, we should start doing this early, at early stages of uh, human life, that is, uh, in secondary school, to ensure the um, uh, close connection between the school, um, uh, higher educational school, and uh, an employer. While uh, we have now closer uh, connection between higher educational institutions and employers uh, is being implemented rather successfully, for example, in our university, um, but uh, interrelation between uh, uh, secondary school and higher educational institutions uh, uh, are very weak, uh, and our tournament, the firm strategy 2016 for uh, school students, uh, which is founded by the um, Economic University, um, uh, also uh, maintain such close connection and ties uh, we, uh, on the framework of this uh, tournament we carried out trainings for teachers and активности самодисципліни комунікабельності в такому напрямку хотілось б and i would like to uh, mention uh, mention Chernigiv, Chernivtsi, and Zhitomer Oblast uh, 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 Institutes of Higher Education. There was a contest uh, uh, similar to ours, uh, which brought together teachers of secondary schools, uh, university professors, and uh, methodological uh, staff of the local uh, educational administration. Mm. The willingness of teachers to implement innovative methods uh, was clearly demonstrated in course of this work. Uh, one of the main, main statement uh, which we heard from teachers was that they are limited in their innovative approaches because they have no right to act without uh, instruction of the ministry. And uh, um, as uh, Bismarck once said, that the battles are won by school teachers and clergymen, not by military um, generals. Uh, First of all, I would like to thank the organizer and founder of this competition, Vitaly Pazdri because he provided us with the opportunity to become part of that project. Now there's a semi-final and we can see some results. We could see first the positive feedback in the beginning after we had interactive seminars for teachers. Such teachers were held in Kriminchuk. We would like to thank the Mayor Vitaly Maletsky for support uh, of this training. Also, there was a training conducted in Kachovka. We would like to thank uh, 
the Munich ha city had. Uh, uh, we see that uh, the community reacts to the development of the society and takes care of the young generation. Now, uh, teach, uh, students also react to, reacted to that they could come to training and they could come, ask questions to organize the Vitaly Pazdri. They heard um, Uh, the answers and that gave them the impetus to participate in the competition. Our organization would like to thank everyone who participated in this competition and wish success to semifinals. Finalists, thank you. Thank you, esteemed colleagues, esteemed partners. This initiative showed that regional initi initiative matters. Poltava regions, Transcarpathians, Khmelnytsky, Dnepropetrovsk regions were very active. But also Lugansk and Donetsk regions are also actively participated in the competition in Severodonetsk. There was a training organized for teachers in two weeks. There will be another training for directors of schools organized. And uh, there was a lot of initiative in Mariupol, in Kramatorsk, in Slavinsk, and that shows the children want to see themselves in one in in a united, independent Ukraine. And in the end, again, I would like to repeat: on the 16th of April at 12 o'clock, in the Ministry of Education, we will be awarding 20 finalists. Uh, and we will see the representatives of youth that will form business elite of Ukraine in the future. So we invite you. Thank you for attention. Thank you all the partners for participation and all partners who support us. We hope that's not the last project in the sphere of business education in Ukraine. Any questions, any clarifications? Once there are no questions, thank you. See you. The next press uh, conference is at 1.30.